Yeah. And it's so crazy that you can just sit here and talk for this long with no music, no commercials. Well, uh, yeah. I mean, well, I mean, we do play commercials, but we are, ha thankfully, this company allows us to manipulate them within the four hours so that as long as they all get played, we're okay. So it doesn't have to interrupt what we're doing. I know. And, dude, it's, like, unbelievable in this day and age of radio. That, I don't know. Like, ta like, talking is kind of, like, taboo in radio. Yeah, I don't, but, I don't get it because uh, if it's the last thing I'm listening to the radio for is music. I know what I want to If I want to listen to Motley Crue today, I'm listening on Spotify. And if I want to go from Motley Crue to Yacht Rock right after it, I can do that. I don't have to sit listen to nine songs I don't care about. Yeah, it's wow. really weird. And uh, so the last thing I'm listening to for music is, but for talk, it's just another outlet for you to get for you to get talk. You're getting it on on Spotify. You're getting it on YouTube. You're getting whatever yeah. podcast. We're just another outlet. So when people are like, we always talk about how you know first time we met, we thought you thought radio was dying, and I'm like, right. In essence, some of it is. But the, the good ones are still hanging around. Radio is so. like Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good or really bad. <laughs> Do you, yeah. Most people in radio uh, uh, are doing it as they're leaving radio and, uh, after it's done and going to work at a furniture store. Like they're, oh, It's, wow, it's yeah. not paying their bills anymore. They're doing it for the love of being here or the coolness factor. You know, I, I am 52 years old. This is it for me. If radio died tomorrow, I'd be like, well, it was a good run. I've been doing it for 30 some years. I'm done now. So I don't care. You know what I mean? I'm, yeah. uh, but uh, I'm, I still get up every day. I still get a fat paycheck. I still get, you know. Dude, and you're in your house. This is the best it's thing like ever. worth noting this is my first time. I like, couldn't remember if he house. came in. Yeah. I said, I said, has Steve O been here before I came Yeah, I thought, I thought he had, but I guess not. Yeah, I guess not. Yeah, yeah. I remember the, the building so well. I really do. We should have you go wake my son up. Go, <laughs> go get in bed with him. Hit him in the head with your nuts. Shaq was supposed to come in one day, and I and Joey, my son, was going to school. He was still in school at the time, and I thought we should do a thing where every celebrity comes and has to go wake my son up. <laughs> Can you imagine being sleeping and open your eyes? Hey, little buddy. Hey, little buddy. Time to wake up. That would scare the hell out of me. Yeah. Um, I got it. It's important to remind everybody. Steve-O is in town. He's got a show tonight at the Capitol Theater. I, I went to the show last time. I loved it. I watched the whole thing. I stayed for the whole thing. I laughed. Do you know how hard it is for me to do something during the week and then get up at 5 o'clock in the morning the next day at my old age? But it was worth every every second of yeah. it, man. It really is a great show. Well, thank you. It's a totally new show this time around. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so there's new stuff, too. So have you saw it yeah, before? Yeah, it's, it's a 100% it's a new show. Um, and uh, I've, I've been... Like I, I booked this trip. I'm gonna drop a nuclear bomb on you now. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, you, this is a man with a tattooed penis on his eye is now gonna give me a nuclear bomb yeah. on top of that. Okay. Yeah, and I'm I'm kind of surprised that you don't know about this already. Maybe I do, and you don't know that I know. Okay. The uh, the 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 name of my next tour uh -huh. is Steve O's Gone Too Far. Okay. And uh, I I got it in my head a good four years ago. That, that that's what, what I'm going to do, and that part of it is going to involve me getting a boob job. Yes, we did talk about that the, uh, the last time we talked. The biggest boobs that I can possibly have <sighs> surgically implanted... Will be what? Will they, like, confirmed, did they look at your body and say yeah, you can get... Confirmed D cup. D! You can oh. go D! <clears throat> I can go D cup. I'm, I, I'm now 50... <laughs> so yeah, a fifty-year-old man can actually uh, fit more than than a younger man. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I, I, God, there's it's uh, it, it's 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 very clearly a nuclear uh, idea, and uh, I believe in it so thoroughly. Yeah, I'm not gonna live out the rest of my years with D size. How groups. many? How many? How long do you plan on holding them for? Two months. Two months. I don't know if that's worth it. You might have to go a little longer. I, I might end up. <laughs> <laughs> Two months isn't even allowed to, like, you can't even take them on tour at that point. Uh, they haven't I will, settled yet. They, they, there, there will be a run where, where the, the boobs are in place. Okay. Um. I uh, they, they, I came up with two months because somebody put it in my head that more than two months and the stretching might get like, too a much. little bit more uh, unmanageable. Right. But the actual boob doctor who I've now <laughs> consulted with in person isn't even worried about it. He's oh, like, are you he's kidding not. me? Yeah. Like maybe perhaps it's because I'm doing under the muscle. Okay, you're going. Oh, you're really doing it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm I'm really doing it now. <laughs> like I don't I don't want to uh, pour. The, the act out, you know, but like, um, but candidly, this run of shows is, is, uh, it, it, I'm calling it an interim show, like where, uh, I'm exploring historically what has 
absolutely crossed the line, like with Jackass, and you know, like th- things that were filmed for Jackass, which absolutely could not be shown, and and uh, powers that be like want to scrub it from existence. I have it. You have it. <laughs> and okay. I'm going to show it. Can you give us any examples, or would you rather not? Uh, I. I, I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, I, I'd rather not. Okay. But, there, but there's a there's a, a whole bunch of stuff that I've already done for the new tour. There's a whole bunch of stuff that that I'm not even supposed to have that uh, that I'm gonna peel back the curtain and show. Um, I'm gonna explore where the the line is, and I'm gonna explain um, why. In some cases, I. I'm proud to have crossed the line, and I'm gonna come clean and, and explain how I'm sorely, sorely uh, apologetic, remorseful, and and like really upset for the rest of my life over other oh, situations wow. okay. that crossed right. the line. Right. So, so yeah, it's it's uh, it, it, it's. Are you worried anything's gonna get you canceled? That's why I'm on this. That's, <laughs> a- <laughs> That's why I'm on this run. I'm, not, I'm literally like get it put, going I'm, out. I'm, I'm really just I'm, I'm putting putting the feelers out there. Yeah. That like that like we're like what am I doing? Like when, when I started this run of shows, it was actually in my head that like that I'm I'm looking for the indicators that if I should back out, right, if I right. should pull the ripcord and and not go through with it. And, and and I've been very nervous starting this run of shows that the the horrifying things that I'm bringing to the audience that it, that it's just too much and that I'm just gonna watch it like just bum people out. Yeah. And I cannot believe how resilient my people are. <laughs> like I'm really like the, the the boost of confidence that I've gotten from yeah. presenting the most horrifying aspects of uh, of of my. Well, my do. career and, yeah. and and of of the franchise like uh, people can handle it and and with the tits yeah like i'm walking through the 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 pros and cons as i see them i'm relating the uh the dire uh urgent Pleased to get me to stop, like the the threats, the the uh, the stakes. Of, I am of more the for the breast than I was for the tattoo. Wow, that's crazy, dude! It, it, people take different positions. You well, know? here's the thing. First of all, I feel like you're a, you're at an age now and in a position where we th- we all probably thought you'd be dead at a certain point. Sure. You were in bad shape, and now you're sober. You're happy. You got a girl. You got goats. Everything's going yeah. great. Don't get a tattoo on your face. But then again, you're Steve-O, and you always will be, so I could deal with it. But the boobs are moving you into a different category. Nobody's done this. And, and, and you're a celebrity on top of this. Like You, you are a television celebrity. Technically, somebody has done it. Uh, right. There's a guy who like lo- lost a bed. I remember like a that guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. But he he did nothing funny with it. No, and, and, and we tried so hard. I remember it was 1996 or 1997. We tried so hard. To I was dealing with Maxim Magazine and this guy's people on getting him to go on a radio station tour for, uh, it was Clear Channel at the time. We'd bring him in, we'd have him do show, and they wanted nothing to do. I mean, this guy was looking at hundreds of thousands of dollars, and they turned it down. So, yeah, he was away. It was away. He settled his bet, and that was it. He wanted nothing to do with it, or the radio stations wanted No, nothing. he wanted nothing to do with it, okay. because the radio station was ready to shell out thousands of dollars, to hundreds of thousands of dollars to him to do this tour. And he and he didn't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. He want, he got him, fulfilled his bet, and took him out. Ah, uh, well, I thought that I remember hearing that the story was that after the bet was fulfilled, that he kept him. Oh he well, got a kick out of it. I, maybe I don't know. I didn't follow up, but I but I know that uh, I know that he did enjoy. He was surprised by the uh, I don't response. I, I, no, no part of me is looking forward to actually having. <laughs> like I'm you not. You don't like, think that your girl will uh, enjoy? I know she doesn't want you to do it. But you don't think that making sweet love to Steve-O might not have just maybe gotten a little bit more fun? Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I just genuinely believe in in the, the the production schedule. You know, the, the, <laughs> yeah. like the ideas are there. Yeah, the yeah, ideas yeah. are there. I don't want to... That's a great line. I believe in the production schedule. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want I don't, again. I don't want to like spill everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, you just got to come to the you show. You did right promise now. me on the phone. That I, I will tell you. I'm, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do. That's, that's all right. Yeah, what do you got? Ten, second it's all right. I'm one. used to it. Um, I, I really, my conversational etiquette, my... We're both hosts. It's hard right. to do that. Yeah. Um, I, I will tell you that I've been taking pole dancing lessons. <laughs> 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 for my hidden camera strip club performances. <laughs> and I'm already really good. <laughs> 
<laughs> like That's then, funny. dude, the ideas are there. The ideas are there. The the stakes are high. <laughs> Would like, you ha- will you have a separate name? Uh, nah, I mean, uh, well, yeah. I mean, when the when the all right, everybody clap your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's gonna have, he's gonna not want to say Steve-O at first. Right. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying, yeah. Please step up, or Stephanie. Oh, yeah, Stephanie. Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna make it to the champagne room. But it would be wrong if I didn't. <laughs> you get a couple of crazy oil tycoons, and they want some money. Might they? they think yeah. I mean, you they, said that I could motorboat you. 100. percent I will totally yeah. do that. Oh, so dude, I did. Did I tell you about this on the radio? The, Last time we we ch- we mentioned that you were going to do it, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, how about that? Yeah. you know what? I, when I'm in California or or even Tennessee, waking up. Yeah, no, I get it. Trust me, I don't remember sense. anything we did on yesterday's show, so it's it's right, cool. Right. No, no, I but yeah, but I'm I'm motorboating it. I'm all for yeah, it. I love it. Yeah. I, I love it. I love that you're in support of it. Um, you know the. Uh, you really changed my mind in the conversation we had last time. I sat in bed the night before and I said. I'm t- I'm talking him out of it tomorrow. I'm talking him out of the penis tattoo. I, I don't. He's too far gone for I this. Mean, dude, it, like Post Malone's not uh, like a, a a real tattoo artist. No I mean, kidding. And, and by no means was this the plan. Like I was ready for it to be a terrible penis. I think he did a reasonably good job, but he had a very light hand. I mean, it's uh, it's classy. It's, yeah. no, it's <laughs> classy. That's it's what easy. I thought it's when you walked in. There. And, and uh, if and when I I elect to get it lasered off, which is the plan, right? I mean, the whole point is just to see how long I last with it in there. Yeah. But I just, it's so much fun when I take photos with fans at this point and, and I say, ah, let me give you my good side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 